Happy birthday, Libra. This is your October 2019 general reading. Um, let's get into it. Thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Once again, happy birthday. I hope you have a really good birthday month. Celebrate all month if you can. <laughs> um, let's get into it. Let's see what, what's going on for Libra in love. Libra in love. Okay. The world. Nice. In the higher fate. Could be dealing with a fixed sign. Scorpio, Aquarius, uh, Leo, Taurus. Taurus is here. Something about you coming into something coming full circle. You being initiated into another chapter of your life that's heavily spiritually based. You finally found contentment here with being the Hierophant. Some of you are, are studied or studying under, or you are uh, someone studying under you in regards to spirituality, religion, uh, routine, um, organization in some sort. You've like matured and you've come into that level of expertise here. I know this is supposed to be love, but for some of you, it's your, your marriage, your relationship has come full circle. Something is, um, you, you guys have to go to the next chapter. What's the next chapter here? Now, this is either, for some of you, the marriage is coming out of uh, third party situations, love affairs, drama discord um childish behaviors uh or you need to come out of that you need to rise above there needs to be a level of um, some of you you need to emotionally mature you're only going to find that through spiritual enlightenment and clarity if you don't go that path then you never find emotional maturity it's always someone else's fault i don't know where it's coming from all right, Libra. Yeah, page of water. There may be someone new who's entered your life. For some of you, this is really, really good. Um, something's come full circle for you. Maybe one year. Now you are at a place of stability, of knowing self, of being able to learn, teach, grow. Some aspect of spirituality is here. And now there's newness. Maybe with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. But there's an, a level of newness, maybe a relationship budding. Yeah, this is still new. It's still the talks of, okay, card just flipped out onto the floor. Wow. Ace of Earth Hermit card. Once again, um, this is also spiritual messages and clarity. Um, now, you, we ask the cards about love. But for some of you, this is definitely like coming into your own in regards to your spirituality, your clarity, there's some expertise, maybe about yourself, maybe how you've grown, uh, maturity and emotion, um, mentality, spiritually, physically. Uh, there's also someone who has, has come in for you. This could be very foundational for you. This is uh, what you were apart from. The nines talk about separation. This is what you have been waiting for. Talks about learning and being learned, being cultured, being experienced, uh, seeking knowledge and, and the quest of knowledge. Something foundational is happening here in the spiritual realm. Uh, also in love. Can I have two more cards for Libra and love? There's been a, a, a time of solitude, of reflection, of fixing oneself, looking at life experience. And I think now you're coming into a place where you can now partner. Eight of, right, eight of Earth talks about love. Excuse me. It talks about marriage and travel later in life so this could be a libra or yeah a libra someone you're dealing with you guys are not 
you know, spring chickens, you're not in your 20s or whatnot, uh, you could be a little bit older. And now a marriage and, and travel and a partnership is coming in for you. Um, the merging of two lives. These are two separate individuals who have cultivated their own life and developed their own life. And now they can come together. Eight of Earth. It'll be a lot of working together. Uh, togetherness. Uh, common goal. Moving toward. Moving forward. There's also a level of mystery surrounding this person. Could be you, Libra. Justice coming right out for you. This person may feel like there's a level, this new person with the page of water, they feel like there's a level of mystery surrounding you. They don't they have they don't have you figured out. But they also feel like this is a lot of balance. This could be like a twin flame relationship. This could be uh, a situation that is heavily spiritually based. This is someone who manifested a situation like this, a relationship like this, a friendship like this. Um, they wanted balance in their life. This is like what you, you deserve karmically coming in for you. You, you have repaid your karmic debt and now goodness good things are coming in for you you are receiving once again good advice or you're giving good advice uh, you could be on the receiving or the, the giving in but there's a lot of, uh, of balance here for you what you have put out is coming back to you if you put out bad you know you know you have to deal with that if you have put out good and you know what good is it's coming back to you um this is really good what else can you tell libra about their love life it's like libra you really went in and did a lot of work on yourself like a lot of work and you manifest this at wow six of cups a lot of a lot of spiritual heavy spiritual energy good samaritan energy soulmate um looking at your health and fitness of relationships and analyzing the relationship um finding a sense of usefulness i think you've also come into your own in regards to your career um and your career choice the sixes talk about choices you finally decided to cultivate and really develop something that has been with you all along. I don't know what that is. Uh, but yes. Also, there could be a soulmate coming in here. We see that that this is a, a really um, heavily spiritually based partnership that could be coming in for you. Wow, the chariot could be cancer. You decided to work on a marriage work marriage togetherness you've decided to that some relationship some marriage some business partnership um is worth moving forward in it is uh healthy it fits into your life there's a sense of usefulness here at one point maybe you felt like walking away there's recreation or going to the next phase in this relationship. Let's see. Shoot, Libra. This is beautiful. You get the Ace of Pentacles twice. You could be getting engaged. Someone could be proposing to you. Someone could be, you could be moving in. There's some big purchase, big tangible, or if not even tangible, intangible measure of what this relationship is and taking things to the next level. Wow, the devil could be with a Capricorn. Could be that um, you, you're you getting money or this person is giving you money or there's some situation where there's still an element of someone being fearful someone being fearful of this is too good to be true the hangman in reverse so
someone is coming out of stagnation, out of it's just a person from a from the past. Wow, this is a person that is really they've done all the thinking, they've done all the upheaval in their life. Wow, this is this might be somebody you already know. This could be a relationship you're already in. This could uh, be someone coming back, returning to you. Someone is saying that things are not over. There was a an element of it being a toxic relationship or there being fear here between the two of you. Wow, but they're really... This, they want to take the leap of faith with you. The full card. They want to start over. Whomever this could be. Ten of Swords in reverse. They feel like you have unfinished business. They want the difficult times to be over. But you guys have not had the talk. You have not been in communication. Wow, the Ten of Pentacles. This is masculine energy. Two of Wands. This person is telling you that I'm coming back. I'm choosing. Wow, the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I am choosing to have this relationship. I want to apologize. I want to extend the offer of relationship. Um, there, there definitely could be apology on the table. Marriage. Um, moving in together. What should Libra be concerned with moving forward? There is like the universe bringing two people back together. So many major arcana. Like this is this is pretty big, Libra. Like you walked away, they walked away. There is an element of separation here. Courage. And that's why that devil came out. Someone is mustering up the courage, the strength, grief work. Some of you like they want you to put the past behind. They want to talk it out. They the hobbies. Some of you okay, here. And in this spread, some of you do grief work. Some of you deal with people in situations where you talk them through. You got several cards of giving advice, uh, receiving advice, spiritual awareness, and, and awakenedness, um, wisdom. People come to you for that. And this may be a hobby uh, or a hobby that you monetize or the cards are telling you to monetize the hobby. Okay, uh, so that's that. And then there's some. There's an element of somebody wanting to come out of a phase of of, of a discord, of drama. Take the next step now. For some of you, in regards to this hobby, take the next step now. Volunteer. You might need to do more benevolent work. You might need to volunteer information. Someone doesn't need to pull it out of you. Seek it and find it. That's what I'm saying. Volunteer, seek it and find it. Someone shouldn't have to. It's, it shouldn't be like pulling teeth or vice versa. So when you're dealing with, it shouldn't be like pulling teeth. They need to volunteer exactly what the situation is, how they feel about it, what's the next move. Gracefully aging. All of this spread is gracefully aging. Because gracefully aging en encompasses not just the out outward appearance, but the inward. How are you maturing? How are you moving forward? What do you learn? Every day should be a learning um, experience. Um Every day should be a betterment. What did I do better? How am I better? Yesterday I cursed someone out, but today I will not, and I will never. Declarations to yourself in regards to gracefully aging. If you're still the same person, uh, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, even physically, that you were 20 years ago, then you might want to think about that. Gracefully aging. Or if you do, if you deal with situations that arise in your life the same way that you dealt with them 20 years ago, 10 years ago, five years ago, then there's an element of 
not moving forward, especially if it's a situation of conflict, a disruption or discord. If it's always to lash out, to fight, to go into harsh words, um, then maybe you need to gracefully age in here, you know. But this spread says that there there is a particular or a set of Libras who have who who have arrived. You know, it's almost as if you've been ushered into the next level, the next course of learning. It, it never ends. It never stops. You you have been initiated, or you are being initiated into another phase of learning of higher uh, higher degree. What's in self care? Take care of yourself. Put yourself first in some situations. Uh, check in with yourself. Ask yourself, how do I feel about that? A lot of times we don't do that. We just start doing. And uh, we really haven't processed how we feel about a particular situation. Libra, this is a really good reading. Very spiritually based. Uh, there is someone coming back. There's a new person. So, um, you know, it's going to not resonate with everyone but if it resonates with you please like share comment subscribe to the channel get your own personal reading especially if you feel like there's someone coming back or there's an element of spiritual awakeness and and maybe you may be moving to a, a place of trying to monetize a hobby where you help other people okay uh libra know that i'm praying for you pray for me as well all links are below okay take care guys bye